Razer Wolverine V3 Pro. It is a sequel to actually a really good controller range anyway, but this is really the pinnacle. And it's a kind of competition to Xbox's official Elite controller range. It's actually a really credible competitor as well, because it's got so many extra buttons and a nice heft to it, that it really does feel very good while you're playing, but especially good because it actually has more than Xbox's own Pro controller. It has these extra buttons on the top for starters, which are assignable, and therefore not only do you get your triggers, you also get something else that you can use during the game that isn't going to be accidentally pressed. While I love Pro controllers, I also kind of the sort of person that turns off the rear paddles, mainly because I accidentally hit them while I'm playing. But if you're the sort of person that loves extra buttons, but doesn't also like those paddles, those extra ones at the top really help. It's co-designed with eSporters, and that means it has many beautiful latency uh, benefits. For starters, it comes wired or wireless, and wireless through an included dongle, and an extremely fast polling rate. That means that when you press a button in, in a game, it will register far, far quicker than actually most other wireless controllers. You will need to be wired in to really get the benefit. And of course, if you're playing eSports, you would be anyway. The other thing I really like about the Razer V3 Pro is that it has this lightable bar that's almost PlayStation 5-like in the fact that this not only lights up in white, like here, but when you're charging it will change colour to show how the stage of charging that you're on. But also while you're playing, it, it cycles through a really canny RGB. It's pointless, but it's really good fun. The one thing I will say about the controller, and most pro controllers in general, is they're not cheap. They are pretty pricey things. This one specifically is around £200, $200 around that margin. But for that you do get an awful lot. You also get the dongle that allows you to wirelessly connect it to a PC or Xbox. You also get a 10-foot braided cable, and believe you me, that is so invaluable when you're trying to play uh, across the room. So many of these controllers come with a cable that's just too short. The other thing about this is if you really really want this controller and aren't bothered about the wireless capabilities, there's a wired version as well. And that is about half the price. So you can get the same benefits, but without the price. And I quite like that because you don't get that with most other controller brands. 